Hello Internet, welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be inspecting Brighton Hove Albion, their squads, finances and basic overall setup. If this is your first time here, you might want to hit the subscribe button, I'll keep you bang up to date with all my FM related content moving forward. If you're curious to know what I look like, here's a quick sneak peek. And if you don't believe me, that just gives you much, much more reason to subscribe. As in other videos, I do show my face, but just not these ones, because staying up right through the night to try and bring up you all the Premier League teams and their overviews. And we are now getting our teeth stuck into this one. So enough jibber jabber, let's get straight in and take a look at the video. So that's right, folks. If you decide to take the plunge and manage Brighton Hove Albion, this is what you'll see. I don't have any of the face packs or uh, club emblem packs just yet. This is beta. Um, so, and I'm 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 returning to the FM scene after a 10-year absence. So I'm still trying to find my teeth. So Chris Hutton is out. I am in. Um, let's just quick uh, hit the home button and take a quick scan. We'll, we'll look at the squad in just a second. I jumped ahead of myself there. Looks like Brighton are off to South Africa for a pre-season tour. And they also got some visits of Bronby and Nancy as they uh, take on their first uh, attempt at Premier League football. Currently they're doing okay in the mid-regions of the Premier League table. Will they survive? It's going to be a tough old season. Uh, obviously, as a Rovers fan, I'd like to see the back end of Burnley and maybe, just maybe, um, Sean Dyche will pack his bags and go to Everton because that will be the nail in the coffin and I'm sure Burnley will free fall. But anyway, it's not about Burnley. We're talking about Brighton. And uh, this is a quick overview. Let's just jump straight in and take a look at the under-18 setup here. A uh, quick glance. Three keepers on the book. A young Polish fella, five foot ten, sixteen years old. Tariq Shibab as well, 147 pounds, 16 years old. Future English centre backs could be. Definitely got a, a mixed bag of tricks here. You've got a Lithuanian, Portuguese, Canadian, and an Icelandic fella. They're all the talk of the town right now. Um, most expensive youngster out there is the Icelandic chappy. Um, no caps right now. It's got a few high high teens, jumping reach accelerations on 14 for 17 year old. That's not too bad. Can play advanced playmaker, attacking midfield. Um, one for the future, perhaps. Let's take a look at the under 23 setup. This is where a lot of the boys, a lot of the, uh, the players who just can't make the grade in the first team, they'll be spending a lot of time in here. A lot of players out on loan for Brighton. Kanzinga Lualua. He seems to have been around for ages. 4.3 million on loan to QPR. Yeah, that's about his level. Championship. Oliver Norwood. Another player. 9.5 million he's rated. 9.5 million. So funny money. Funny money. The football world's gone mad. Northern Irish. 46 caps. Fulham having for the season. What else do we have? Five goalkeepers in the under-23s. Nicky Manampa, Finnish fella, 32 years old. He's also been around a while. Steady Eddie, safe hands. Obviously, with Brighton's first choices, uh, he ain't going to get much game time. So you probably want to get rid of him should you uh, decide to take over. Brighton, Sam Baldock. He finds himself in the reserves. Is it mainly down to his injury? Three to five months, possibly. Who's the most expensive fella in the reserves? Norwood, he's on loan. Yuri Skalabak, 25 years old. Czech fella, could play across the park in the attacking midfield slot. Decent player, I'm not sure why he's in the reserves. Bulldog as well, Loire Loire. Got quite a few mid to range mid range players here that could be used as um collateral should you want to um increase your transfer budget which we will take a look at shortly um let's take a look at the big boys a squad the main squad let's get this sorted out in the proper order two goalkeepers tim cruel 
was bought in and appears to be on a permanent basis according to the folks at Sports Interactive. I thought it was a loan, but he's there. Matthew Ryan was bought on a on a mega mega transfer over the summer. And here's this fella. Aren't we glad to see the back of him? Kind of. I am kind of. He did part if you're not aware, I'm a Blackburn Rovers fan, but we, he did part on, on bitter ways with, I don't know how many own goals and a sending off and all that cack in his, his, his uh, toward the back end of his last season and also the start of uh, the season before he, he managed to wriggle his way out. Didn't deal with it nicely. But anyway, decent player. He's found his level. We made a bit of money. Um, we, pro we probably got taken to the cleaners a little bit. Um... Glenn Murray, rate this fella, big time, 33 years old now. Who's the most expensive player? Anthony Knockart. He's not really set the Premier League on fire just yet, but give him time. Uh, 25 years of age. I think Brighton need to stay in the Premier League to keep a hold of this guy. He did have a uh, not so uh, memorable spell at Leicester. Down the bottom here, if you, if you follow my uh, finger. He was there. Didn't really, didn't really set the place on fire, but he did come back. Fair play to him. And he did the business last season. Got Brighton promoted. Important bit of information here. Let's take a look at the contract expiries. Izzy Brown. What's the deal with him? He looks kind of funny. Is he on loan or? Anyway, yep, he is on loan from Chelsea. That's correct. So obviously his his contract will expire. Bruno, another one. Considered first team, but I think he's knocking on a bit. 36 years of age, so probably say goodbye to him. Tim Krull, 9 million. My understanding, I thought I thought he was bought in on loan, but it must be here on a one-year deal. 9 million, get that bad boy uh, taken care of. You know, to be honest with you, I'll have to get rid of him. I'm not a big fan of Tim Krull. Get rid of him. Steve Sibwell, still could do a job in the championship. Maybe the Premiership is, is 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 you know one step beyond now. He's also getting on a bit. Thirty four years old. Uh, Rosinha, another fella who seems to have been around for donkeys. Um, his contract is also up, so it could be a start of a new era for Brighton. Um, a lot of these players brought in by Hughton over the summer. Not familiar with me really. But let's take a look at the the the, the matter here. Usually I go over this bit first, but We'll uh, get stuck in to the meat of it. So, Brighton, given a transfer budget of 17 million, you can uh, raise that a smidgen, not too much. Currently got a wage budget of 968,000, but you can crack your transfer budget all the way up to 18 million. It will, it will reduce your wage to 941. Um, they also say 75% of any transfers you make will be made available to you. Competitions. Okay. Premier League. Board want me to avoid relegation. FA Cup. They want me to get the fourth round. So that's basically win one game and I'm there. I'm safe. Carabao Cup. Reach a third round. I. Okay. We do enter in the second round. So again, win one game and I'm safe. So pretty, pretty simplistic um, expectations of the club. Maybe you can go in there and tweak it and, and, and that might boost your uh, transfer um, kitty a little bit. But this is achievable, I would say, especially for me, returning to the game after such a long time. Um, let's go look at the team report. A lot of text here. You can, maybe I'd suggest pause the video if you want to have a good read of this, but uh, to be honest with you, I can't spend too much time on it. Squad depth is a good overview. Left back is an area you, you may want to consider improving. Centre back, you seem to have got all your bases covered. Right back also. Uh, left side of midfield, not the strongest. Uh, is this a forward? Is this a Premier League uh, strike force? To be honest with you, not so sure. Uh, so the dynamics again. Dressing room seems to be in in high spirits. Um, these are the two key players. Bruno. What if I just clicked there? Bruno. Okay. Gives you a little bit more background of, of him. 
make vice captain you can give him some roles maybe take on some some youngsters and be their mentor ambassador ah, that's interesting um can these be moved maybe but these are the two players that you would consider your your to be a captain vice captain then you'll be looking at this bunch of players right here dale stevens quality player really made a grade uh social groups again like i mentioned with with the with the mentorship these are the the, the players that you could consider um players to be mentors for the youngsters uh been around a while and uh and 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 all they all sh suffer similar levels of professionalism then this is the next core down here let's take a look at the overall happiness should be pretty decent considering you got promoted from the championship when you really didn't probably expect it um but yeah so that's pretty much it well that's pretty much all i have for you if there's anything i've missed please leave a comment in the section below i plan to do each and every premier league team over the next few days however if there's a team out there in the world maybe in scotland maybe in germany or wherever and you want me to do an overview just let me know in the comment section below and i'll consider it um and moving forward, once the initial craziness of the beta and the actual release of FM18 does calm down, I plan to do some game saves, get back right into the deep end of this uh, of this epic masterpiece. Um, uh, I do have some quality game saves uh, in the pipeline, so be sure to stick around. But until next time... Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not, Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.